Welcome to the Music Journal Podcast, where we talk about the hottest things happening in music right now, and also how you can apply it if you're an aspiring producer or musician yourself. I'm your host, Wes Yi. I'm a producer, artist, and educator, and I'm stoked to be chatting with you. Let's make history. Welcome to another episode of the Music Journal Podcast. Today we have a super special guest. It's honestly really awesome to uh, to have another podcaster on my show, and this guy is someone who really does it. He's connecting with huge people all over New York City. He's a producer. He has content that's on Acast. He's also a video game composer and arranger and a sound designer. Um, he does live and studio audio engineering as well. Um, this dude, Jose, kind of just really does it all. Um, and we actually had the honor and the privilege of going to Berklee College of Music together. Ironically, one of our classes that we had together wasn't even a music class, as we kind of just re-realized right now. We took a philosophy course together um, with this fucking insane teacher who <laughs> got exiled from his country for trying to overthrow the government. But we'll get more <laughs> to that later, I'm sure. Uh, Jose, welcome to the show, man. Yo, 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 man, what's good, what's good? <laughs> Dude, thank you so much for being here, bro. This is an Anytime. honor and a privilege. Anytime at all, man, for real. It's, it's, it, I'm, I'm, thank you for having me on the show, man. It's, 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 thank you. it's an honor for real. Yeah. Dude, I could have honestly done the entire show just doing your bio. Like, I could have filled up all 25, 35 minutes or whatever <laughs> just talking about what you do. But uh, if you wouldn't mind telling the listeners a little bit about who you are and your words and what you do, that would be pretty dope, man. No worries, anytime. Yeah. Uh, so basically, what I do is, um, I well, anytime anybody ever asks me that, I usually just say I do a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like people are like, oh, what the fuck? I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, trust me, it's like it's too long. <laughs> um, so like in a nutshell, I guess primarily recently, what I've been doing is uh, I've been producing podcasts, um, and uh, I've been I've been trying to approach it kind of from like the uh, like an advertising perspective. Hmm. Um, so in the sense of like so. Yeah, like you know, some people, some people like they, they make branded content and do that sort of stuff. But the uh, like you know, like they'll like let's say if it's like a like a Tylenol thing, like Tylenol pays for some branded content, right? And like they'll be like, and they'll have like some informational video on headaches and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And then like at the bottom right, like right hand corner, you'll see brought to you by Tylenol. They don't mention Tylenol once throughout the entire thing, but they just says brought to you by, right? Right, right. Um, yeah, it's like that kind of that kind of advertising doesn't really work anymore, man. You know, it's like, it's just not really uh, like what our generation is digging because it's like, you know, it's not, there's like a lot of stuff that's like not sincere. Totally. Oh, um, yeah. And, you know, so through podcasting and stuff like that, you know, I try, I try to create uh, content where you talk about yourself. It's basically the same concept, you know, branded content brought to you by this company, brought to you by this brand, brought to you by these people. And they're trying to promote themselves, promote what they do. And uh, with, without actually mentioning anything that they do. Uh, and just being and or like informing uh, like you know like they they can they can obviously talk about it like you know they like they'll be like you know like I do this I do that whatever you know it's like uh, they'll talk about their lives and stuff but like the the, the fact the thing is it's so organic because what they do is what they live mm. usually wow. like a lot of these so it's so it's you know so it's it like my my rule of thumb for content I guess would be like uh, pretty much it's if you. Uh, you know, it's like if you need to go out of your way, like really out of out of your way to create the content, it's probably not organic enough. Have you uh, have you ever heard of this guy Simon Sinek? Do you know who that is? No, I'm not familiar. Okay, he's uh, he had like a couple viral talks, but he talks about um, it's totally true everything you just said, man. And I think podcasting is the new radio. Um, but he says people buy based off of your why, not your what. So his his big famous example is like Apple. Um, all of Apple's competitors, as I'm recording this on a Mac too, by the way, but, uh, (laughs) all of Apple's competitors, you know, they, they have all their commercials and they say, uh, you know, we have really user compatible laptops. Uh, they're great and long lasting and I don't, I don't know what else, like, uh, they're very user friendly or whatever. So that's their what. Uh, what Apple did or when Steve Jobs was still alive, rest in peace, um, the way he branded himself is, uh, he would come in and say, well, we at Apple, we believe in user compatibility. We believe in having a machine that's very long lasting. We believe he would, he would use, we believe statements, uh, as opposed to just explaining the product. And it was way uh, more effective, obviously in the marketing to, um, to explain the why. They were doing these things as opposed to the what. So I think it's really smart what you're doing. Um, 
what's what's like your role as the producer of some of these shows? Like, what do you do? Uh, I do I do pretty much like everything that I need to uh, to make the show happen. So mm-hmm. like, let's say like pretty much like scheduling guests, um, you know, like helping like and like you know research the people that are coming up. Um, I'll do uh, I'll, I'll I'll do media training for uh, for my hosts. Um, then I'll like an hour before the before the interviews, I'll have I'll have like a meeting with them, uh, just discussing the interview, just talking through like you know like what relatively like what like what they hope to get out of it, yeah, and just yeah. just kind of like you know just kind of like try to like loosen them up a little bit. It, it's nice. It's good for just kind of like getting them going. Uh, and then and then you know like I'll I'll remind them. I'll be like you know so, some some hosts are you know like they're they're um, they're more personal like not what's the word I'm looking for it's like they're more like uh media savvy I guess that would be the word I'm looking for yeah like in terms of like like in terms of like how like how to talk to people like on, like on a mic and stuff like that and like right. others they're still relatively new to it you know it's like right. you can't help that yeah but like um so you know it's like I'll help them with that with that sort of stuff um then I'll also record it um I edit uh and then I mix and I put I put the show together I help them come up with new segments Pretty much anything and everything. I'll eventually move into helping them find advertisers and stuff like that too. Dude, it's crazy how much stuff goes in on the back end because I do all my own back end stuff. Like I do my own marketing and I do my own editing too. Um, right. It's crazy how much of that stuff goes into it that nobody realizes. Me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm loving that you're getting the chance to kind of show the value of everything that you do, man. Because if it wasn't for you, there'd be no shows, right? Right, dude. It's like I mean that that's that's the thing. It's like and and you know it's 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 really uh it's really I don't know it's it's kind of the way that I, the way that I kind of think about it is uh it's it's just really fulfilling, man. Because you know like this long form content like this, it, it just gives you like a moment to kind of like just really consider another human's mind. Totally, totally, yeah. dude. That's why I li- like listening to podcasts too. Like I'm a I'm a consumer as well. Um. It really, it, sometimes, dude, I was telling someone this the other day, sometimes I get like kind of cocky and I'm like, all right, like I know a lot of shit. And then I'll listen to like a Joe Rogan podcast and then I'm like, oh shit, I don't know anything because he'll be saying all this crazy stuff from his brain and like his inner works that it just fucking blows my mind, dude. So uh, I love this kind of content, man. Um, do you find it, <laughs> do you find it more fulfilling? Because I know that you're kind of in the front end of uh, your podcast too and you're working on your own show uh, and you've been working on it for a little while. Um, which which end of it do you like more, do you think? The back end of it or the front end of it? All of it. <laughs> if All you had to pick it. one though, out of curiosity. Oh, no, I don't know. It's like, so yeah, I mean, okay. I think capturing it in the moment, interviewing, I, will, I love interviewing. Mm. Um, I think I, I would say like that, that's like, um, I, I would love to be the uh, the host for every one of my podcasts, obviously. And like, but but I feel like I can't. So I feel like I'm almost like living like vicariously through uh, through producing <laughs> these podcasts. There's a beauty so in like, that too, though. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I feel like I'm I'm kind of like uh, be like, yo, I would love to have like any content that I produce ever is always like it's always content that I want that I want to right. Um, that I would I would want to make myself yeah and uh, and so the uh, you know so it's so I guess it's it, you don't I don't have time to, to be you know to be like like sitting like they train me like you know doing that many interviews per week uh, I don't know how Joe Rogan does it man. it's he does, it's he does like four a week or something he's, like four, yeah something like that it was like something ridiculous. <laughs> Is I get kind of I get kind of mentally exhausted just from one to be honest. I gotta like drink another cup of coffee afterwards if I have like two in a day or something. Absolutely, oh, man, yeah, dude. And that's the other thing people don't realize. It's like sometimes sometimes you have to record multiple per week, multiple per day, and then just with time like time release them because like you never know when it, when you're gonna have an off week, man. Totally, it's tough, man. It's really difficult. Yeah. Um, yo, how'd you get into this whole podcast thing? Is there a crazy <laughs> story behind it? Uh. Uh, I had an experience. I'll, I'll leave. I'll, I'll 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 talk about it like that. I had a, had a bit of an experience um, with. Well, you can't uh, just say that and not tell us what it is. Oh my god! All right. <laughs> <laughs> so I I I had. Oh my god! I don't even know if I should go public with this. Actually, uh, I, I took. I had I had a very intense psychedelic experience. What you, what were you on? Uh, I took uh, acid. Okay. But it, it was. Uh, I took ten double dose. Jesus it, Christ, dude! Yeah, how many how many tabs is that? That's twenty tabs. Twenty tabs, yeah, two strips. What the fuck, dude? You can say that, by the way. I've talked about like shrooms and shit on this show before. Oh really? Yeah, right. yeah, it's all good, dude. 
Uh, Everything right, cool. goes on the music journal. Hey, all right, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> um, yeah, the uh, so basically the um, so I, ha- I had this like really really intense experience and uh, and it was just uh, it was it wasn't all positive. Um, there was you know there was there was some you know like a lot of like a lot of things that people don't realize about psychedelics in general is um, that they're you know like they're fun. They, yeah. they are fun. I mean, the, anybody who denies that is is like <laughs> has a yeah, like they're lying or they're trying to deny. It. Like I don't know. Or like perpetual anyway. bad trip or something. Yeah, perpetual. Yeah, that's the other. Yeah, that's the other types. It's all about set and setting, man. Set right. And setting. Absolutely. Yeah, with, with the dose, yeah, the, the right uh, people and everything. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, I was well, I was doing this during a thunderstorm. Were and, you alone? Uh, uh, no, I was with with the, my roommates. Actually, they they kept they kept fucking on my head. It was funny, but uh, <laughs> fuckers. But, like, it, yeah, yeah, I know, right? I was like, come on, guys. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, so basically what ended up happening was, yeah, like I just, I had this, this, this whole like very primal experience mm. where um, I was living at the time uh, overlooking this, this state park and, uh, and it's probably, it's acres and acres and acres of just trees, man. It's gorgeous. Green it's beautiful, everywhere. Yeah. It's beautiful. And, and we had this back deck that was overlooking all of that. And uh, so I was, I was out there and I kept going out in the back and every single time I kept going out back I kept like we're just gonna describe it as primal was because I kept feeling like I was like a caveman exiting his cave oh shit being like this like forest and, like, it, was <laughs> insane. it was insane it was gorgeous but uh and I like in fractal patterns and like just like how everything makes itself up and you know it's just like 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 how everything is just constantly like like how the universe is built right mm-hmm. it's just like you know uh it's it, it was it was beautiful it was in- insanely beautiful and then it was this is during this so this is during 2016 2015 so like the elections were just ramping up and uh people were being very very um uh oh man that was three years ago now wow <laughs> don't think about that yeah. <laughs> time flies dude <laughs> yeah, right? yeah i said two years ago beforehand but i guess three years ago so um, so yeah the uh and and you know people the the election stuff was ramping up and uh all of a sudden i was just like i, I saw i saw all of humanity and i'm like i was experienced i experienced this like this like you know re- very primal trip and it was like i i felt like the the pr- primal sense of community from that i don't know it's like like i said it's like that whole fractal concept the mm-hmm. the idea of small bits making up bigger bits making up bigger bits making up bigger yeah. like that wow. concept like it was just like it, it kind of gave me this sense of community it was weird it was like that we've been missing and and uh and and i was like dude where, where does this even exist in our society anymore? i was like people are just yelling at each other it just yeah. i'm like how how why like you know it's like it was it was really depressing and you know like i said they're insanely the introspective tools are fun but you know it's like they, they can they can um like the the effects also last until like way after too. yeah totally dude absolutely yeah and it's and it's um so you know so anyway the um so then all of a sudden uh we uh yeah so so then i went to the beach and i was hanging out with my friend and and he was talking to me about like podcasting and all this stuff and mm. and and like you know he was like he was you know like i like I, i've listened like like ca- like casually listen to like joe rogan and stuff like that in the past like you know it's like if he ever had a list like a like somebody like posted a, like you know a snip of one of his shows and be like oh that was a really interesting clip i was right. wonder what they said you know yeah. um but you know but anyway so and I was like, and I was like, wow. And I started exploring like, like the whole podcasting bit. And I was like, wow, dude, it's like, people are really taking the time. Like, this is popular. Like people really are taking the time to like, just take a moment and just listen to a person. I'm like, this is beautiful. I'm like, this is incredible. Mm. And, uh, and, 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 and so I was like, but how do you even get involved in this community? <laughs> I was like, this- <laughs> And I'm like, you know, so I'm an audio engineer and I, I have like recording equipment and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to start interviewing people. Mm. And uh, that's where I came up with my, my concept for my show that I've been working on. I've been collecting interviews for now, I guess. Well, I just found out three years. <laughs> Dude, that uh, is fucking sick. Yeah. Uh, and, and basically all, I, all I've been doing is just kind of like, like coming up to people and ask, I, 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 uh, so my, like, so the concept of my show is, um, is I come up to a person and uh, I asked them a question, and this is like a random stranger. And every every time I ask uh, the stranger a question, uh, it's the same exact question. And that's the only preparation that I make 
uh, prior to having the interview with the with the person because I, before that moment I wasn't even expecting the interview. And you just let it spiral from there. Exactly. Gotcha. And uh, and and you know so like I'll ask them I'll ask them this question and then like they'll they'll answer it with something and then and then I'll just like explore those topics explore the like explore the person and like my whole point of that is to be able to experience a person without um, without visual bias. Mm. And uh, what's that? Do you, well, I was just going to say, do you, uh, do you follow like humans in New York at all? You know, that like photo yes. series, that's exactly yes. what that reminds me of. Right. But the thing is like, well, that, that, I think the concept for that guy is, uh, it's beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. It's like, it's the whole idea of like, there being like, you could see a person, but do you, but do you really see that person? Right. You don't. <laughs> right. Exactly. It's like, it's like, there's like all this life and struggle and story behind this individual, but it's like, and like, you know, it teaches you that the visual aspect of that person might've, might've taken you away from, um, like from potentially experiencing, um, that person. But, yeah. That's a uh, really profound experience that I've also had from psychedelics, like a realization oh. that I've also had. Do you, do you remember, do you remember the Prudential Center in Boston? absolutely first first time i ever said i love you to a girl was on valentine's day 2015 with my girlfriend at the time and we did shrooms and we went to the top of the prudential center dude and i just remember looking down from the top of one of the biggest skyscrapers in boston and i'm looking at all these individual people and like even even beyond people like trees and shit you know the tree that's like really big that you walk by every day that you uh, like that I didn't even think twice about like totally took for granted dude like that started as a seed and grew into this big like beautiful fucking tree dude and it's the same with every single person that I was literally looking down at like thousands of people dude all in their cars like going wherever it is they're going and there's a reason for why they're going where they're going and there's purpose behind every single one of them uh, it's a really it's a really amazing thing dude and I think the concept of your show is is fucking amazing you got to put it out there dude yeah, dude, and like the like the format is gonna be really interesting. Um, I think that's gonna be because like what what I'm gonna do is I'm not really gonna explain anything beforehand. I'm not really gonna say anything beforehand. Interesting. Uh, I'm just gonna basically have like the way that, that I've described it so far is like um, a cloud of people talking, mm. and then uh, all of a sudden there's uh, like everything else starts fading away, and you start concentrating on this one sound, this one person. And all of a sudden, they they keep talking, they keep talking, and, and, and you realize they're telling you a story about their life. Yeah. And uh, what I do is I edit myself out of the interview. Oh, so you interesting. Can't, so you can't hear me. Uh, oh, so it shit. just sounds like they're talking. It's a monologue, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's and, uh, Yeah, and I'm pulling it out. So like the uh, the way that I approach podcasting, right, and like and like the way that I approach um, it, like even like it, this this goes into like well the way that I approach this this podcast and this this feeds into like how i approach my production is um i i um i view it like a sonic snapshot of a, of a human soul hmm. and like that that's explain, pretty much explain that a little bit like a sonic snapshot like you're taking a picture of their soul through sound okay gotcha what's, yeah like, what's like, your what's your uh sorry to cut you off what's what's like your what are your thoughts on like like souls and like consciousness and stuff like that <laughs> Oh man, that's that's an interesting topic. I should I produce a, I produce a podcast on that actually. Oh really? Yeah. It's, if you, uh, it's just a couple sentences if you have it. I know it's a really oh yeah profound no, topic. Dude. No, it's all good, man. Um, so the I guess so my 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 view is there's definitely something to that. I think that there's there I've ex, I've experienced. Even like like I said, producing that podcast, like ever, especially ever since producing that podcast, man, um, I've had some some interesting experiences with individuals as well. Um, that I've always been a very much of a skeptic, like very much like the like the uh, like the atheist kind of like just very very like. But I guess it's like now, like I'm finding more myself being like agnostic in the sense of like I don't really know what's out there, but like. Right. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm open to it yeah. because it's like I'm, I'm open to any experiences because I feel like at the moment that I lock myself up and say, no, 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 this, this can't be, I'm, I'm, I'm closing myself. It's kind of like, it's, it's kind of like, uh, like that visual bias of humans in New York. You're closing yourself off to meeting these incredible people. Totally. That's right? a beautiful realization to have, by the way. <laughs> yeah, dude, absolutely. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's, 
it's it's one of those things that that uh you know it's it's what makes us human yeah it's like um yeah dude so uh you know you're taking all these sick sonic snapshots of all these people who <laughs> you wouldn't you you wouldn't like like the humans of new york thing um people people prejudge it's just kind of wired into our brain and it takes effort to kind of undo that i think because it goes against the way we evolved into how we are now as a species um and and people make these prejudges so it, it takes them away from uh getting to know a person because of what they just assume by looking at them what's what's something about you that people wouldn't guess by looking at you like first glance <laughs> oh man Some, something that people wouldn't get by just looking at me oh man yeah. like first I guess, impression like, i think first thing people think all right so that's actually something that i've personally um struggled with most of my life too it's like um I, yeah you know me now like, i'm a pretty big dude <laughs> that's all right uh yeah like uh, dad bods are in dude ah not like dad bod man i'm getting i'm getting kind of jacked now come on now <laughs> <laughs> but like but like, but like, no, but for real, like the, um, like I'm, a, you know, I'm a six foot three. I'm pretty, I'm pretty intimidating. You know, it's like I'm a, I'm a pretty intimidating dude. Like, um, gentle giant, so like, dude. Exactly. It's like people. I feel like people, like, uh, like when I was a kid, especially, like I would always assume that people would think I was a bully. Mm, and wow. I was like, nah, dude. I just, I just want to be your friend, man. Like, I, oh, that's that's all I want. That's 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 all I want to do is I want to I want to be your friend. Wow. And. That's uh, wild. And, uh, and it's kind of like, so I, so I guess that's something that I personally have always, um, sorry about the mouth pause. That's nuts. all right. <laughs> uh, so that, that's, I guess that's something that I personally like have always, uh, struggled with and not something, not something that people usually, I guess, assume about me. Mm. Um, because it's like, it's, I, and it's, you know, it's like, I, I never, I never want somebody to think that, that I was like, when I was a kid, I never wanted somebody to think that I was like going to make them feel bad or or you know like or hurt them because like i because i'm bigger and like they can't hurt me as bad physically mm. but like you know, but they probably could destroy me <laughs> but, but, but but the whole point is yeah you know it's like i never wanted that to be the image because especially like uh, that was actually like a big thing when i when i first moved um from like in like around like, the first and second grade not first but like, i moved like 20 times in my life oh, but, wow. like, i didn't know that yeah Oh yeah, <laughs> but uh, the um, but yeah, you know, so like they they um, they kind of um, uh, yeah, so like I like I, I moved and like these kids were like, "Yo, you're giant, dude." I'm like, "Wait, <laughs> what? I am?" I was like, "I was like, I was like it's, it's like a like, pattern every time you move. They're saying the same thing." Yeah, I was like, I was like, they're like, "Yo, you're so big." <laughs> I was like, I was like. I was like, I, I am so like, dude, I was like, I was the size of like, I honestly do. Like I was the probably like, I was, I was six foot by the time I was like 14. Oh really? Yeah, dude. I was, wow. so, I was, yo, good was, for like, you, tall, dude. Like, good for me. <laughs> like, well, oh, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm fucking five, seven. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh dude, sometimes, dude, sometimes I don't like being tall. Man. Uh, I think I, I said it's a decent height. I think, I think between that, like that, like the upper five, five, like up, like above five, five to like to like I want to say like five ten is the sweet spot, man. You know, you you get the cards you're dealt, and you do <laughs> the best you can with them, right? So <laughs> that's um, what I do, <laughs> and you do though. Yeah, 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 and you know, so like I always try to overcompensate a little bit, a little by by trying to be nicer to people, you know. Mm. So. Um, I think you're a really nice dude, man. You can hear it in your voice too, just like the sincerity. <laughs> uh, I was actually thinking about saying that in the intro, which is hilarious. This is a lot. That's a lot funnier to me because I was literally thinking it while I was like getting a glass of water before we started recording. I was like, "What am I gonna say?" I remember him being a super nice dude from uh, from class and everything. Uh, so it's funny that you say that now. I'm just kind of put it into perspective. Oh, oh, that really appreciate it, man. I'm, I'm happy that like you know that, that you they guess that you thought that. I mean, man, it's like it's yeah because it's like I don't know. It's like something that I really I always want to try to like 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 i always want to try to like emit as much love as possible to people man that's the way to be man definitely oh yeah love trumps hate oh shit oh yeah oh, shit. <laughs> heard it here first in the music <laughs> journal <laughs> yeah dude. i mean and that was and like yeah dude and like oh yeah first, first time ever uh, <laughs> yeah so like oh uh, that, that was actually one of the things that, that fed me into into doing that whole podcast thing man like the uh like that was actually the way that I wanted to. That that was actually like I was like I saw all that hate, man. I saw that all that all that stuff going on, and like that lack of community, like even amongst people that just disagreed with each other, right? And I'm like I'm like how the fuck am I gonna like fight this? And and I was like I want to make art to fight it, and and that's where that's where I got into like 
like the whole podcasting thing and got into like that that whole jazz and i'm like this is my this is gonna be how i fight yeah i love it dude uh i want to give you a chance to just kind of talk about your podcast and everything you're working on but before we do that uh we're kind of almost out of time which kind of flew by but uh, I ask one question on every single show. I ask it on every single episode, and I love the answers I get. But if you had unlimited money, no strings attached, what would you do and why? Oh, I was actually talking about this to somebody the other day. Oh, really? All right. That was sick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So oh, I was like, if I was to, yeah, dude. Oh my god, yeah. So like, if I, so the uh, the um, the the with it the way that I that I phrased it was like, I guess it was like if I was to ever become a billionaire because like at that point you know, okay, it's a lot, yeah, yeah, it's like a lot, a lot of money. It's, it's like, yeah, it's basically unlimited. Yeah, it's like you're not going to be spending a billion dollars in your lifetime. I don't <laughs> <laughs> like if you have to try, you have to try really hard. Anyway, yeah, so sir, I'm sir. gonna try really hard. So like the way that I would do it, I guess, would be I would I would hire a group of sociologists and political scientists and like like I'm talking about like top of the top of the top, right? Like like unlimited amount of money, right? So I would just get like the best of all that stuff, right? Uh, from from both perspectives, from both like a like a conservative perspective and a and a, and a liberal perspective, uh, of like just like the best political minds that exist, to, like all from all over the world, and then I would have them analyze the issues in a town, and then if it was like through like if there was like a way to fix it, like let's say like homelessness or something like that, like let's say something major, uh, in one town, and then um and then I would I would I would ask them to. Uh, to, to, to come up with a plan to how, how we, how can we end homelessness in this town, mm. uh, through, you know, through a social program, through, through like some sort of like, you know, uh, campaign, what, like whatever, whatever it could be, and then implement it and then fund it myself. And then, and then after that, prove that it works and pitch it to people in up in like higher part the higher branches of government. Mm. That's what I would do if I had a billion dollars. Smart dude. I love the strategy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that's fucking sick man uh i love how quick your answer was too dude that was dope um, <laughs> dude if you want to let everybody know where they can find you talk about your projects and everything this is kind of your moment to plug dude oh yeah dude no worries um you can check me out on instagram uh vapor rumors it's a uh, v-a-p-o-u-r underscore r-u-m-o-u-r-s uh it's a uh, the, the, the song from Spongle, if you guys are familiar. <laughs> I've heard um, of them, but I don't know the song. Uh, yeah, dude, great, great musicians, great, great music, man. Um, and then uh, if you want to check out the podcast I produce, uh, the consciousness one is called The Evolver. Um, it's uh, you can find that on Acast. Uh, you can get you can check that on iTunes as well. Uh, the other one is called Hope of the Hood. Uh, that one's about a comedian. Uh, he's a he's kind of going through. Uh, it's kind of like the uh, like his. Um, his life experiences of like kind of like going through the grind, going through the like the hustle and all that stuff, and like uh, trying to basically make a name for himself. And like he's interviewing people that he meets along the way, and uh, he's he's been killing it, man. He, this this cat, he's like he's been he knows he's been meeting people like that work work with Comedy Central. That and this dude's like a dude from the Bronx. He always says he's like he, he always talks about how he actually still sleeps on his mom's couch. Oh shit! Uh, it's like you know he's like you know he's. He's, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's doing it, man. He's, and he's out there. He's, he's, he's working his ass off, man. Every single day, trying to make something of himself, trying to make that happen. Hell yeah. Yeah, dude. I really, like, he's actually one of the people that, uh, got me to, got me into grinding in the first place, man. Like, like this, at least I have, I happened for like the last kind of half year or so. Um, and then, uh, the other podcast I, uh, I edit, uh, another one called, uh, Naked Beauty Podcast. Uh, it's a, it's a beauty podcast. Um, it has, uh, uh, it's it's pretty interesting. They, she 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 brings up some interesting topics, mostly uh, mostly uh, women related topics. Uh, she's actually gonna have an interesting segment though about men's beauty hmm. and uh, and like the different struggles that we go through, like razor bumps and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I, that's a thing, man. Right? I'm like I'm constantly like being like fuck, dude. And then uh, uh, and then there's another one that I produce called uh, well not produce I'm sorry uh, that I edit um, that's called the um, uh, that it's called job logs. Uh, it's basically a bunch. It's a podcast about like gives career advice to people, um, and they had, they they interview some interesting characters from all over uh, all over the states, like and from like with different occupations. Like they'll, they'll have people that are brand people. They'll have people that are like uh, that work in government. They have people that that uh, they're just really 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 interesting. Um, 
and like the and like the I don't know, it just helps you kind of motivate you and all that. Um, there's a couple of other podcasts I'm producing right now, but they're all in pre-production. Uh, I guess the only other one I could talk about is an indie music podcast that's going to be coming up. Um, and basically, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to help them, uh, you know, become more relevant in that scene through that through that advertising technique that I told you about mm. at the beginning. Uh, but applying it to uh, bands and helping them build a scene around themselves instead of helping instead of trying to um, instead of trying to join a scene, which is so much more difficult. It's like yeah, you know, it's kind of like going to a group of friends that already exists. And uh, ooh, I like that. And uh, trying to get in there, you know, it's like that's really hard. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like yeah. So so that's kind of like yeah. So I've been trying to apply that to uh, to to bands as well, and uh, and. Uh, potentially a makeup brand. I don't know. She actually, I was supposed to meet with her this morning. I got up early and she kind of canceled on me last minute. So I was like, ah, ah, that's the worst. Yeah. It's like, I was like, ah, it oh, happens man. though. Yeah. She's, a, she's grinding like crazy. Though. She's probably busy as fuck. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> she's probably super, super busy. Honestly, dude, like she, uh, she's killing it. She's, she's, she's a pretty incredible person. I hope I get to work with her. Um, and then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Uh, Instagram, like I said, vapor rumors and, and check out those podcasts on ACAS. Yeah. Yeah, and, uh, iTunes. Dope. Uh, and if you're listening at home, uh, like regardless what you do, you heard it here first. Jose probably has some free content for you that's going to help you in some way, shape, or form just because he does so much. So, Jose, thank you so much for being on the Music Journal, man. Anytime. Thank you for having me, my man. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of The Music Journal. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you got a lot out of it. If you want to know more about me and what I do, I just put out a personal EP on Spotify. You can go to bit.ly slash Spotify. And if you want to know more about music production, I teach an online course about it too. Just shoot an email to wes at homestudiohits.com and I'll send you an application. Just for filling out the application, I'll send you a free sample pack of sounds I use to make the instrumental you're listening to and more. All these links will be available in the show notes so you can check them out there. And while you're there, if you feel inclined to rate this show five stars, that would really help me out. Other than that, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss an episode. Thanks again. Peace.